Hello, this is Cameron from Impulsonic, and today I'll be showing you how to use Phonon Walkthrough with Unity, specifically how to tag objects in a scene using Phonon Walkthrough components. We need to have our Unity project open and our scene already loaded. Once that's done, then we need to import Phonon Walkthrough itself. So to do this, we'll just click on Assets, Import Package, then Custom Package. And then we just need to browse to where our Phonon Walkthrough package is saved. Once we find the package, just go ahead and double click it. An import Unity package window will appear. It will just detail the different phone on walkthrough uh, components that are going to get imported. Uh, we want to make sure that all of these get imported, so we'll click All just to be safe, and then click Import. And once that's done, we just need to make sure that it imported, so click on Window. You should see Phone on listed here, so go ahead and click that. A Phone on window will appear somewhere in the editor, so we'll just drag that next to the inspector. Um, once that's done, under General, we want to make sure the audio engine is defaulted to Unity 4.3. So now we can start tagging objects in a scene using Phone on Walkthrough components. So to do this, first we'll expand this so we can see all the objects. Okay. Um, so we'll start here with the FPS controller, and we'll just work our way down. Okay, so with the FPS controller selected, uh, we'll, we're going to click on the Inspector tab. And this will show us the different components already attached to this particular game object. So how do we add a phone on walkthrough, uh, a phone on walkthrough component to this? Um, so what we do in the inspector is just click on Add Component, and a search window will appear. Um, normally it looks like this. So if we want to quickly find phone on walkthrough components, just type in P H O, and it'll bring up the different components for phone on. So for this particular source, we want phone on walkthrough source. Now why phone on walkthrough source? We want to use phone on walkthrough source because the FPS controller has an audio source attached to it. And if we want to make sure that that audio source takes advantage of Phonon Walkthrough's real-time sound propagation, we need to make sure it has a Phonon Walkthrough source attached. So for future reference, if you have any game objects that have an audio source attached to it, make sure to attach a Phonon Walkthrough source as well. Otherwise, Phonon Walkthrough will not work properly. OK, so moving down the list, we have the FP, uh, sorry, the first-person character. And um, you'll see that there is an audio listener already attached here. Um, this audio listener is basically what allows us to hear sound when we're in the scene, when we're walking around. Um, but unfortunately, it won't capture phone on walkthrough audio sources. So to fix this, we need to add component, phone on walkthrough listener. Now, this phone on walkthrough listener will allow us to hear phone on walkthrough audio sources with real time sound propagation. Um, you'll notice that we also have the uh, ability to change the values here for rays, bounces, and duration. For this particular tutorial, we won't be going into this. Our more advanced tutorial will go over how these work and why they're important. So for now, we'll just leave these as is. So moving on, the directional light does not need anything, so we'll go to the plane. The plane is a surface that will reflect sound back to the user. And if we want to make sure that those sound reflections take advantage of phono walkthroughs, real-time sound propagation, we need to make sure we have a phonon component attached here. So uh, with the plane selected in the inspector, we'll click Add Component and then Phonon Geometry. So this assures us that any sound reflections that are coming back to us while we're walking on the surface will use phonon walkthrough. Moving down the list, now we have these cubes. These are basically the walls of the building. So since the walls of the building will reflect sound, we want to make sure that the sound reflections coming off these walls use, uses phonon walkthroughs, real-time sound propagation. So um, we want to add the phonon geometry component to these as well. So with all the walls selected, we'll click Add Component, then Phonon Geometry. Now all the walls have phonon geometry attached. Moving down the list, we have the spheres. Now these spheres are just audio sources that have been visualized in sphere form. But uh, like the FPS controller, since it has since these have audio sources attached, we need to have phone on walkthrough sources attached as well. So we'll select all the spheres. We will click on Add Component, and we'll select phone on walkthrough source. So now all these audio sources will play through phone on walkthrough, and it's real-time sound propagation. OK, so now all the objects have been tagged. Um, so before we preview the scene, there's one last thing I want to show you, and that is in the phone on menu and we'll click on the Scene tab here. And you'll see an option for Material Preset. So this Material Preset basically says um, any object that, that reflects sound can have its material changed to, to affect the quality of the sound reflections. So um, 
that includes the plane and all the all the buildings uh, sorry all the walls on this building and um, if we want to change the global material global default material for these objects that have uh, phonon geometry attached to it um, we can go in here in the phonon menu and then click on scene and then under material preset we can change the preset so if we want the the building to be made of brick and the plane to be made of brick we would click on brick and we can go down the list and select what we want um, we also have the option to set a custom setting so we can change uh, the absorption here and the scattering for the, all the objects here that have phonon geometry attached um, so for this tutorial we're not going to go into this um, our more advanced tutorial will however go into this into, into detail on how these work so for now we'll just leave this at generic and then we'll just preview the scene and see how it sounds and one last thing um, before playing the scene um, you want to make sure that you come into phonon and the scene tab and then click on pre-export scene and uh, this is just to make sure that everything works properly um, so now that that's been done we just click play and see how it sounds Okay, and once you're done, just click the play button, stop the scene. Okay, so we've shown you how to tag objects with phonon walkthrough components, and we've shown you how to change the global default material on objects that are tagged with phonon geometry. Um, we can actually go in even a little further here with the material, um, and we can actually tag individual objects with phonon geometry and change their individual material as well. So how do we do this? Um, it's very simple. So let's take uh, this plane, for example. If we want to change the material of just the plane, we would select it here in the hierarchy, then we click Inspector. And um, we want to add a new component called Phonon Material. And much like the Phonon Material setting here in the Phonon menu, we have the option to change the material of this particular object. So uh, we can set the plane to be made of any of these presets, or we can customize it. And in our advanced tutorial, we will um, also go into tagging individual objects with acoustic material and then selecting and then changing their custom settings as well. So for now, we'll just select concrete. Okay. And since uh, these walls also have phonon geometry they, and you want to change their um, material, uh, we can select them all and change the material for all the walls. Or we can actually change the material in each wall. And we do that by just adding a phonon material component and then changing the preset. And that's going to do it for this uh, tutorial. Um, I hope it was informative. If you have any more questions, um, please refer to the documentation. Or you can send us an inquiry at support at impulsonic.com. Thanks for watching.